Hi, I'm Pam Swartout, and I'm with ProAction, Yates Office for the Aging in Penyan, New York. Um, today we're going to be doing our Bone Builder program. I teach this program along with several other wellness programs. Um, and uh, this program was created by Tufts University. This is an evidence-based program, which means this has been created, tested, and shown to work. Uh, it's a bone building exercise and a falls prevention exercise. All right, so we're gonna do this in two parts. We're gonna do our arms first, and then we're gonna go on to legs. It's important for every exercise program that you start with warm-ups. Um, this helps to prevent injury. So let's start with our warm-ups. So at first, we're just gonna march in place. Do this for a couple minutes. Just to get those muscles warmed up. Now we're gonna do some arm stretches. We're gonna go across our body. We're gonna take our other arm and we're just nicely going to stretch. Again, you have to listen to your body. If this isn't comfortable, lighten it up. Let's do the other side. Alrighty, good. We're going to do some legs. I'm going to do my calves uh, muscle, my hamstring stretch. So I want to stand you just want to kind of push out so that you can feel that stretch right in the back of your leg. Make sure you're taking some nice deep breaths and hold. Walk your way to your chair. The next one we're going to do is a heel cord stretch. So I have my one leg up close to the chair. My knee is bent. But I, when I look down, I need to be able to see my toes. We don't want those knees overextended. You want to feel this in the bottom part of your leg. If you're not feeling it there, uh, lengthen out that back leg. Hold. Breathe. Alrighty, good. And come up. Let's do the other leg. Again, knee bent. You have to be able to see your toe. And you can feel that stretch. Alrighty, good. So now we're ready to start with our exercises. Sorry. Get the chair over here. Alrighty, so weights. I've been doing uh, this program for about seven years. I'm up to a five pound weight. I want you to start out with no weights, or if you've been currently using weights, you can start out with the weights you've been using, but don't jump right in with five pounds because that's what I'm using. I have done this for a long time. Okay, so bicep curls. This helps our bicep on the front of our arm. We use this for day-to-day -day activities such as carrying, lifting, and household chores. Gotta love the household chores. All right, so we stand up nice and tall, core tucked in, knees slightly bent, elbows stay tucked in nice and tight to your waist, and we're gonna lift. Up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, 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 five more, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, up, 
two, three, four, down, two, three, four, last one, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four. All right, good. So in this program, we do a, a 10 reps, we rest a minute, and then we do another set of 10. If 10 is too much for you to start out with, that's fine. You can do as many as you can. Rest with us, and then when we start up again, you can pick back up and do as many as you can the second time. Alrighty. Um, as you can see, I have my water here with me. Um, it's important to stay hydrated, uh, whether you're exercising or just throughout the day. We do need that water. All right, let's do the second set. Ready? Back into position. Up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four. 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 Five more. Up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four. 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 Last one. Up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four. All right, good job. Um, the next one we're going to do is called the overhead press. This one is a little bit more challenging, but it's very effective. This works the muscle on the back of our upper arm, and this is a weak muscle group in a lot of people. And we use this for overhead activities. So on this one, we're going to stand up nice and tall. You want to make sure you keep your back nice and straight. You don't want to arch back nor lean forward. So keep that back nice and straight. We're going to start with our arms up. You can either have your wrist facing in or facing out, whichever feels better on your shoulders. All right, set of 10. Ready, and up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four. 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 Five more. Up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four. 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 Last one. Up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four. All right, good. We'll wait a minute and we'll do that again. Um, we do these exercises to a slow count of four. Since we're actually targeting a specific muscle, um, when we do it slow, this is, allows that muscle to work at its best. So that's why we do a slow count. Alrighty, well, let's do this again. Get back into position. Ready and up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, 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 five more, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, 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 last one, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four. Alrighty, good job. All right, 
So we're going to take a seat. And this is a good time to take a nice drink. Alright, so now we're going to do our wrist curls. Clinical research trials have shown that doing this exercise with weights will actually increase your bone density in your wrists. So this is good for all of us. So we're going to lean forward with our forearms on our thighs. You can either have your wrist facing down or facing up whichever feels better. And then we're going to go up and down slowly. Ready? And up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, 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 halfway, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, 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 last one, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four. Great, good job. Uh, we'll wait a minute and we'll do that again. So while we're all kind of socially isolated, um, you know, find some things that make you feel happy. Uh, write letters to friends. I actually wrote to my brother who's in the nursing home and I can't see right now. And I know how happy he is going to be to get that. So try to stay connected even though we are isolating ourselves. Um, it just is a good feeling for everybody. All right, so let's get back into position. Remember, we're only working our wrists. So don't be lifting your arms up. All you want to do is that wrist. All right, so let's get back into position. Ready and up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, 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 halfway, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, 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 last one, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four. Alrighty, so now we're going to move on to the bent forward fly. This helps to work our shoulders and our upper back. Um, it also helps with our posture. So we sit towards the edge of our seat, feet are hip width apart, you're just going to slightly tilt forward at the waist, but you want to make sure you keep your head, neck, and back in alignment. We're going to start with our arms back, and we're going to pretend we're going to hug a tree. Ready, and in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, 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 halfway, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, 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 last one, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. Alrighty, this might be another good time uh, to have a sip of water. 
Again, I like to stay hydrated while I'm exercising. Um, our body needs that. So, let's get back into position. Again, feet are hip width apart. Our arms are back. And we're going to go in. Two, three, four. Out. Two, three, four. 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 In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, halfway, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, 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 last one, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. Alrighty, good job. Now we're going to stand back up. We've been sitting for a while, so when you stand, make sure you're not dizzy. Just stand still for a minute until you feel good. The next one we're going to do is called the upper body row. This is a good exercise for our arms, our shoulders, and our back. So we stand up nice and tall, and again, this is one you're going to want to keep that back nice and straight. You don't want to arch back or lean forward. Keep that back nice and straight. Our weights are going to go in front of our thighs, and we're going to make a straight line up. So up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, up, Three, four, down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, halfway, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, 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 last one, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four. Good. We'll wait a minute and we'll do that again. This will be our last arm exercises. We'll do our cool downs um, and then uh, the next segment we're going to do our legs. So let's get back into position. Again, keep that back nice and straight. Weights in front of our thighs. Ready? And up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, 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 halfway, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, 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 last one, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four. Alrighty, good job. And you can put your weights away if you're using them. We're going to do our cool down now. Again, really important to do your cool downs so that your muscles have time to get relaxed. So the first thing we're going to do is our um, calf stretch. Again, you just want to kind of make a box and then push out a little bit so you can feel that. Walk your way to your chair. Make sure you're not dizzy. We're going to turn our chair around and we're going to do our heel core. Again, step back. Front leg is bent, but when you look down you have to be able to see the front of your foot. 
if this isn't enough of a stretch, lengthen that back leg out. Keep that heel down on the floor and hold. Alrighty, let's switch legs. Again, back. Front knee bent. Take some nice deep breaths. Alrighty, come up. Now we're going to do some stretches for our upper body. We're going to clasp our hands behind our back. We're going to stand up nice and tall. We're going to lift and breathe in. Lower and breathe out. Again, up. This time we're going to go up front. Same thing. Lift, breathe in, and lower, and breathe out. Last one, up. The last one we're going to do, we're going to give ourselves a big hug for doing such a good job. Stretch. Nice big hug. We can all use hugs right now. Good. And that completes our arm segment. Um, I hope you stay tuned. We're going to be doing uh, legs the next segment. Um, stay safe and stay healthy. Thanks.